Guys, I gotta tell you, adventure did speak to me. Adventure is out there is one of the most creative quotes you could ever come up with. Yo, what's up everybody, this is us here. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing Up. Sounds like a short title, but what does it matter? It's about Carl Fredrickson, played by Ed Asner, a 78-year-old balloon salesman who's about to fulfill his lifelong dream. Tying thousands of balloons to his house, he flies away to the South America wilderness. But curmudgeonly, Carl's worst nightmare comes true when he discovers a little young boy named Russell, played by Jordan Nagai, a stowaway who's aboard the balloon-powered house. Now, the animation on this movie looked realistic. Remember, this is not a spoiler, it's a fact. But when the camera pans, towards the brink and or precipice of Paradise Falls, it gives you this feeling of awe and wonder. That's one of the things I love about this movie. The other thing I love about it is that you don't use animation just for the sake of doing it like most animations were. You know what I'm talking about. You use animation just for the sake of story and I'm glad I was in this movie. Also, the last thing about it is the emotional and tragic scenes in this movie that got me sucked into it. For that, I was like, take that, DreamWorks. Is that the best you can do? Except for the fact that most of your animations from the 90s to the times where you made, let's say, Kung Fu Panda, Shrek, and How to Train Your Dragon were amazing. Forgive me for being delusional, but that's what I'm thinking about. Anyways, the voice acting was amazing as well, compared to the Rugrats movie. The Rugrats movie has kid characters, but voiced by either tweens or adults. But this movie, be it Russell or any other kid character from a Pixar movie, has actual kid actors, and that's what's amazing about it. I mean, I like other animations that involve adults or tweens voicing and kid characters, but Pixar movies? Whole different story. Also, the character development, articulation, and execution did entertain me. This movie is set in the 70s and Carl dreams of becoming an adventurer just like his wife Ellie, but has been derailed by wilderness explorer Russell, who has a taste for adventure himself as well. And to me, that was a Shrek and Donkey moment. If you don't know what that is, watch the movie Shrek and you'll see what I mean. And also, check out my review of it as well if you have the chance. But anyways, in the end, Up was both lovely and emotional your grandparents and your kids should watch together. So as a result, I rate Up 5 out of 5 stars. One of the best Pixar movies. Check it out. You'll probably cry. So Up, uh, have you seen it? If you haven't, you people just don't like animation, do you? But if you have, come back and let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Also, if you like this video and you want to see some more, make sure that like button shines in your face. That'll totally help me out a ton. Also, share that video with your family and friends and favorite it. That's a very good way to show support for that review. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.